Karibuni sana watazamaji wa Gujere Media popote ambapo mlipo. Uh, siku ya leo niko na mheshimiwa na nitamuita mheshimiwa kwa sababu eh, yeye ndiye aliyekuwa anawania kiti cha wa wanawake katika kaunti ya Marsabit tutapiga story na yeye. Acha tumkaribishe kwa wale ambao ni mara kwanza uh, kumjua yeye tuweza kumjua alafu tuweze kuendelea mbele. Eh, habari Mzuri sana. Akam? Yes, <laughs> Ata kiborora pia tutoguza tu moja moja. Aye, ok. Sawa, tutajaribu kuonge kiswaili zaidi, but uh, nitachanganya. Tunaelewa pia watu wetu wa Marsabit. Tumechanganyika pia. Okay. Sawa, sawa. Tutatueleza unaitua nani, we ni nani kwa wale mbao mekuona mara kwanza, alafu tuendele mbele. Saizi na siumu tu kila mtu wananijua. <laughs> Hacha niache kwa siumu. Uh, Mi naitua Gedi Amamo. Um, mzaliwa wa Moyale sub county Marsabit county um pimi ni msichana wa Dabel Golbo ward uh, nimezaliwa huko nimeolewa huko kwa hivyo niko na watoto wa huko so mimi ni mama Marsabit uh, nimesoma shule mpaka masters mambo ya siasa na utawala na mambo ya peace building Yep, this one of the same and I'm talking to uh, elections. Kushindana mm -hmm. nimewania kiti ya wakilishi wa kina mama Marsabit County nikakuwa katika nafasi ya pili. Mm -hmm. Sante. Baba mara kwanza nasema tu congratulation kwa sababu umeweza hiyo nambari kupata karibu watu 1030. Na kupiku nambari ya pili sio rais hivyo. Safari imekuwaaje safari ya campaign? <laughs> safari imekuwa ngumu mm -hmm. na ndefu. Uh -huh. <laughs> Serikali inakupatia miezi tatu ya kukampaign lakini hiyo miezi tatu inakaa kama mwaka ama hata miaka miwili. So si kazi rahisi. Okay. Uh, Marsabit yenyewe ni pana zaidi. Na kwa mtu kama mimi ambaye nilikuwa natafuta kura kona zote za county hata kufikia kufikia sehemu zingine za county ilikuwa challenge kubwa sana. Again um, mi pia ni youth youth pia wako na challenges yao. Most of the time wale ambao wanaamua mtapiga kura wapi ni wazee. So kuna wale wazee kukuliko walikuja kuomba wazee wenzao kura, walishapewa, alafu unakuja anasema lakini siongoje kidogo wewe ni mdogo. So hata kukua youth ilikuwa challenge kiasi. Pia number 2 pia finances. Kwa finances naweza sema maybe ni ni utamaduni zinatusumbua. Because Unaweza pata youth youth kama mimi lakini mwanaume anaweza anaweza tafuta kiti au senator ama au governor hata aweze kupata ukicompare okay, resources reason wanaweza ridhi mali ya family wanaweza pewa shamba wana hata kazi watoto wili wakimaliza shule ule anatafutiwa kazi kwanza wale wazazi wanajitolea kabisa inakwanga ule kijana mwanaume so because mimi ni youth alafu tena mimi ni kike msichana wa kike uh, unaona tuna hiyo urithi tuna ile pesa kwa hivyo na siasa ni pesa siasa inahitaji unaingisha watu box na mara mingi si na maneno ni pesa so hiyo ilikuwa challenge and I think your challenge ni taiekelea sana utamaduni zetu ambao shiki ambaye aishiki wasichana mkono vile wanashika youths wanaume mm. sasa hii safari najua kila mahali wakati wa campaign unaitwa mheshimiwa mheshimiwa hapo mheshimiwa sisi ni watu wako tuachie ka kitu hizo ma pressure zilikuwa anga mingi najua hiyo wakati muliweza ku overcome aje sasa unasema challenges ilikuwa pia pesa ilikuwa challenges pia na ni nini iliweza kufanya uweze kupata kura mingi zaidi kura karibu 1029 zaidi kuelekea ni nini nilifanya hivyo I think mimi from the beginning niliamua nitakuwa nitaku, nitaku honest. Okay. I think sometimes tunafikiria ukidanganya raya kuambia mm. kesho ninarudi nitapitia mm. tu saa hii nafika tu hapa tunaona kama mm. tunawadanganya na wanakubali. Okay. Unapita leo unawambia kesho 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 mm. but sasa from the onset nilijiambia nitakuwa tu mkweli. Mm. Then again youths niliona kama wananielewa. <coughs> Nawaambia mimi ni youth kama kama nyinyi. Mm. So nita nikiwa nispowapatia mna nijanga because mini youth na mna elewa hali ya youths. Yeah. And I found wana ni kubali, wana elewa. Mm -hmm. Sikuwa napita nasema narudi. Nasimama tu na wambia imagine sina. 
As in say sina hona niambia food hata mimi hata mimi sina food say. Yes. So wanaelewa. Uh-huh. Then uh, kuna mali nilienda kuomba kura. Uh-huh. Acha tu niseme ta ngurunit. Uh-huh. Ngurunit nilikuwa nilienda kuomba kura. Uh-huh. Of course after baraza kuna ile chai ya wazee youths hiyo. Uh-huh. Wazee walisema usitupatie hata hiyo pesa. Ukimpata kura uende ukuje ununue chakula, wacha chai. Uh-huh. So hiyo pesa enda upeleke malingine because walielewa agenda yangu ya peace nini wasema kama unatafuta peace hata usinunue kura mm-hmm. uh, kuna haja tuna unatupatia pesa yetu na unatafuta amani na amani na tusaidia sisi wote mm-hmm. wali niliwaachia ndio lakini at least walikuwa na hiyo roho ya enda nayo omba kuingine mm-hmm. nani kuna mali kargi kargi nilienda kufanya uh, nilienda kuomba kura kwa baraza okay. kama niko nafuliza mm-hmm. okay hiyo <laughs> <laughs> usiku nilikuwa nasema Naambia my brothers na wale ambao tunaenda nao hey tunafanya aje hiyo meeting mm-hmm. but hawajui niko nafuliza mm-hmm. but naambia si tu postpone tu hao waone kwa nini tuna postpone but mm-hmm. baraza ilifanyika mm-hmm. after baraza watu wameka groups wanawake youths kwa mm-hmm. ngoja ya kawaida yeah yeah kesi yao kwa nafuliza ya 10000 na nyinyi mnaongojea kama 50k uh-huh. so nikaambia chief chief imagine mimi sina do mm-hmm. chief ana nani ah watu watanimaliza ni mtaingia gari muende chief nitabaki nimemaliza so nikamwambia waambie sina pesa. Na guess what? Watu wa Kargi walisema enda ukipata pesa chukua namba ya chief hata usitume na Mpesa. Withdraw weke kwa basi utume. So pesa yao walipata 2 days later after nimefika Marsabit. So pia sometimes sisi tunafikiria raia wanataka tu kutukula ama wadanganye. I think sometimes kwa ni binadamu as much as unatafuta kiti mm-hmm. kama ningeenda na ile ya niko na pesa na wapatia na sina then ningejiaibisha mm-hmm. but i think most people walipenda hiyo honesty mm-hmm. ile naambia sina leo mm-hmm. jana nilikuwa nilikubaya at least soda leo sina na wanasema ni sawa next time so i think truthfulness mm-hmm. politicians si lazima kwa waongo mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah. kwa hivyo labda unajua hiyo uh, time wale ambao wanatafuta hicho kiti pia wako wengi na kuna wale unapata hata sisi tukienda kufanya covering tunapata kuna mmoja kwa hiyo uh, baraza ama kwa hiyo meeting kwa kampeni huyo mtu mwingine na kwa mpinzani pia kesho ako mtatofautisha aje unaona kama huyu mtu anani support ama ana support mpinzani wangu utatofautisha aje ndio maybe hata uweze kuwa na hiyo hope ya kwamba atakupigia kura Hey, awezi jua. Hawezi kuwa sure. Okay. Kwa sababu ukiita tuseme ukaenda Dabel kuita baraza, mm-hmm. watanikujia wote, watakujia madam wengine, madam wote umeauta jua. Mm-hmm. But then uh, kuna watu tu wana wanakupenda somehow tu kuna watu kila mali mm-hmm. wanakupenda na wanakupigia simu anasema mm-hmm. ile group wanakudanganya mm-hmm. wako hii sehemu. So ukikuwa na mimi nilikuwa nawaita beacons. Mm-hmm ilikuwa bikon sasa sijui nilikuwa mm-hmm. nikana utuba ni nini sasa kwa Kiswahili i don't know mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa ninawaita bikons okay. every village unapata hata after baraza kubwa baada wiki moja kuna wale watu walipenda vile naongea wanashinda wakinipigia sema unajua ule mtu ulikuwa umeshika ile siku leo ameenda kuingine umuongeleshe mm-hmm. anarudi ama anasema acha tu niende huku nimepewa kitu fulani mm-hmm. so ukikuwa na hao bikons ndio unaweza jua mm-hmm. otherwise baraza kila mtu atakuja mm-hmm. na kila mtu atakuombea wazee wataombea kila mtu mm-hmm. yeah. utaweka ile blanket yetu ya warindile mm-hmm. nyi wote mtaombewa <laughs> yes. na kila mtu utapeana pesa hata unaweza kuja upeane pesa kuliko mwingine but haimaanishi mm-hmm. watakupigia kura mm-hmm. the only place unaweza kuwa sure ni maybe malume zaliwa mm-hmm. na hiyo ni kama tuseme dabel mm-hmm. akukukua na mtu mwingine anatafuta women rep ambaye amezaliwa huko kwa mimi tu maybe hiyo unaweza kuwa 90% so kama tungekuwa wawili bado ningeka bid kama zile sehemu zingine pia tuseme mali niliyoleka kwa rendile hakukuwa na mama mwingine mrendile unaweza sema hapa maybe 60% but auta wai hesabu mali 100% at the locked Mm-hmm. Yeye ndo unawaambia yeah, yeah, yeah. gurunet locked target <laughs> locked ji wapi lock hizo <laughs> locked nilikuja kujua you can't lock people mm, yeah sure yeah na una, una, una tu mtu anakuambia amekupigia atakuombea nini tumekupea mm-hmm. yote hata usirudi uh, shock mm-hmm. so hawezi jua mm-hmm. but uh, siwezi sema wanatudanganya because imagine ukita baraza wakwambia wewe enda tu atukupigie i mean itakaje hawezi kwa poa so 
hawana option. Sisemi raia pia sidhani wako na option. Kuna watu wanasema kwamba maybe raia watu wanapenda sana pesa. Kuna watu wanakufuata tu kwa sababu ya pesa. Unajua hata kukupigia kura au hata kupigia lakini ni pesa tu wanataka. So una, una, utatafautisha aje. Unaona kaa huu ni huu ni mfuasi wangu ukweli na huyu si mfuasi wangu. Hawa si hii area si yangu na hiyo area ni yangu. Utatafautisha ujua aje. Kitu moja nyenye nilikuja kujua hmm. ni ninakwamba kura uh, naomba kura yako nasimama hii kiti kama utaniuliza leta ya chai hiyo ndio the first thing unaniambia mimi najua huyu anipei kura okay. even though nilikuwa najua ule mtu anataka kujenga sababu niambia haya we ni nani kwa nini unatafuta hiyo kiti huyo mtu anakaa kwa na interest alafu by the time unaongea sema sasa ubaya nilishapatia mwingine ahadi mwingine anakwambia sawa niko na we unajua huyo ni mtu atakujenga but mtu akijua tu ume mimi natafuta kiti fulani na amekuitisha pesa most pro- 80% huyo mtu akupigi kura cuz kwa nini anakupigia akujui ajasikia mawazo yako ajui manifesto yako but amesema tu lete basi ya chai kuna wengine hata wanakuitisha chai bao baadaye wamepata namba somehow sasa niko na group ya 100 people kama unataka hii kura 100 <laughs> lete kitu ya chai saa hii eh inakuanga ngumu sana. Uta zile messages tulikuwa na kuna mtu akona kura 1000 mali amefunga to my lunch. Mwingine amefunga ya 200 mali. Mimi nime na family yangu kwa nyumba yetu tuko na 20 votes. Hautaki. Mm. Ukifuate hizo mm-hmm. watu wenye unashindana nao pengine ni watu wako na pesa mm-hmm. na wewe hauna. Hauna ya. Hata hutafika mwisho utaacha mm-hmm. tuseme sasa hii kura 1000 nimeenda hii 200 nimeenda hii 20 kwa nyumba ime siniache tu. Mm-hmm. You know. Okay. And hadi sometimes mtu anakwambia sasa ile kura 1000 ulikataa nimepatia madam fulani kwa <laughs> sababu ulikataa kutuma kitu i mean ukikuwa na roho week mm. au wendi mbali mm-hmm. there's a time wali create hata whatsapp now this is the funniest thing nili experience uh-huh. wali create page inaitwa get dear for women rep 2022 <laughs> okay wameongeza watu 200 people something kwa hiyo group mtu akasema sasa ameheshimiwa atume bundles mm. ndo to blog <laughs> Mimi siko online hata sijaona hiyo message. Mm-hmm. Kumbe watu walikuwa wakitisha bundles, maybe ni admins tu maybe ni mia moja si kitu yeah, maybe yeah, ningeshindwa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because mimi siko kwa online na sikuona, then mm-hmm. next time narudi kwa network na fungua page, page ilichangewa, jilichangewa. Wacha tu niseme jina yenye ilichangewa badilishwa. Wakasema page has been changed from get there for women rep to to me for women rep. <laughs> kwa sababu ya bundles, bundles. Uh, sababu messages hata sikona au ni 200 people mm. kama na hiyo na hiyo group huko na habari yenyewe walisema sisi ni dahad wako youth fulani wa town mm-hmm. fulani na tunataka kukutengenezea group tukuwekee mm-hmm. youth wote and i was like sawa tuko pamoja okay. kwanza nikipata kura nda simama na nyinyi kabisa mm-hmm. the next week group ilichangiwa jina unafikiri hata niliuliza hata sikuuliza nikasa mm-hmm. i just learned nikasema hey, sometimes you do it pia maybe mm-hmm. i don't know Um, is it just pesa maybe ni hawa wili tu wenye waliunda group mm. the two admins yeah. maybe see the 200 people mm. in the group naweza pata hapa wengine hata walinipigia tu mm. Mm. so sasa eh, mafans wako sa zingine kuwajua yani unajua watu wako na shida tofauti tofauti mm-hmm. hii wakati wa campaign kuna mtu anakuletea tu shida na kuambia ho hata sina chakula eh unajua mtoto wangu ana school fees mm. yani watu najua umesumbuliwa sana Unafanya nini? How do you overcome that? Una una au una treat aje hao wote equally. Uweze kuona tu usione ya kwamba hujasaidia huyo, uja uweze kusaidia wengine, ujue kwamba yule mtu ako na jini excuse ni gani? Utajua aje. Um hey, hata tulikuwa tunapata mabarua. Mm-hmm. Barua ya school fees, ya hospitali, mm-hmm. ya nini but ile kitu mimi nilikuwa nafanya mm-hmm. vitu kama school fees, mm-hmm. nilikuwa tu naambia mtu mm-hmm. kama ni school fees nitachukua barua lakini tutaongea mm. after mm-hmm. na bado niko nazo na nilikuwa naomba nishinde ama nikose kushinda mm-hmm. but after kushindwa nipate kazi zingine mm-hmm. mimi niko na barua yako na nitakusaidia kiasi yenye naweza mm-hmm. but zenye nilikuwa napeana hata kama ni kidogo maybe bill ni 100k mm-hmm. but mimi naweza kukupe tu 2000 mm-hmm. watu wana appreciate tu mm-hmm. ni za hospitali mm-hmm. ule wa mle mtu wako na bill ya hospitali mtu mgonjwa mm-hmm. mtu anahitaji dawa mm-hmm. hao ni kama mchango. Mtu anaweza kupatia barua iko na 100k lakini amanishi umpe hiyo 100. Unajua mm. anakuonyesha, ananionyesha, anaonyesha mwingine so tu 2000 yenye unampe mm. inamsaidia na unapata na shukuru kabisa. Mm. So za vitu za afya ilikuwa immediate mm-hmm. for me. Okay. And then uh, maybe mtu anasema 
unaona tu mtu anakuambia kuna njaa family mm. ini, hata hiyo ilikuwa mm. na mtu wa kuna njaa sana hata 300 ana appreciate yeah. ubaya sometimes tunafikiria huyo akikwambia hivi hataki anything less than a k maybe see hata 1000 mm. na anataka 2500 enye uko nayo yeah. so hizo nilikuwa nasaidia but vitu za school fees hizo nilikuwa naeka on hold sana mm. Mm. Uh, nili kuna mahali nilikuwa nimeona kuna jamaa alikuwa ameuliza mheshimiwa fulani pesa akasema mheshimiwa niko na TB nisaidie na kitu wa soda <laughs> umewahi pata na kitu kama hiyo unapata tu sasa si mtu mwenye akona TB mimi akona ugonjwa anahitaji dawa sasa amesema niache kitu wa soda basi <laughs> umewahi pata na uh, vitu kama hizo sije ni sema nilipatana na fee structure ya 20, 2017 mm -hmm. Na ananiambia mtoto alifukuzwa last week na ndio fee structure. Yeah. Nilichukua tu nikamwambia mami fee structure nitaeka tu kando but nilishaona mm -hmm. ini fee structure ya 5 years yeah. ago mm -hmm. niliona. But sasa wezi ambie huyo mama sasa mami unanidanganya na nini ya kitambo? Ah. So awezi fanya hivyo. Mm -hmm. So I think kuna opportunists. Mm -hmm. So hiyo baro ya 20 how many hata kuna mwenzangu aliniuliza hata uliona aje hiyo debt mimi singeona. Mm -hmm. So in that way mm -hmm. Kama kuna watu wata msaidia na yu, hata ilikuwa like 11,000. Mm -hmm. So imagine mwishimu flani hata kuja mpe 5k, mwingine mm -hmm. kuja mpe 3k, 11,000 no mwishimu watatu wa shama liza. Mm -hmm. But hata, yu fee structure na yu mtoto ni kaa shama liza yu shule. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, so, sometimes pia, pengine uyo mtu aliuliza mwishimu wani kwa na TV na mwishimu wa musiki. Haka mm -hmm. decide tu, basi hata kaa wezi saidia ya hosisu ni pe ya soda. Yeah. <laughs> Ineza kwa ni, okay. in that sense. Maybe, kuna hiyo tv but uh, tv but then again na uh, vile tunawapea attention mm. ina mata mm -hmm. kishindo kinaambia niko na, na niko na, na, na siku sikizi mimi nimeenda tu achana na mimi unasema ama ma security wanakushika ina bidi basi lete tu ya soda mm. yeah so yani yeah. umeipata place umekasirikia mtu uh, Nili... Nili pata tu mtu amekubo kabisa ai sasa unjui <laughs> ufanye nini kudil na watu wote najua si si kitu raisi Umepata place umekuwa emotions yako ikapanda ukakasirika ukafanya vitu. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Sija kasirika nikafanya kitu mbaya lakini nimekasirika mara kadhaa. Mm -hmm. Basi sasa nikikasirika naenda nakaa kwa gari. Mhm. Mm kwa sababu okay. unajua tena wa mama tukianza kuongea na hasira tutanyamaza. Yeah, yeah, so kuna mali nimekasirika mara mingi but nimeji control. Hakuna mm -hmm. sijapiga mtu, sijai tu si mtu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Asante sana na pia wakati wa eh, eh, nini kupewa awa, eh, kupewa ama mshindi um, kutangazwa uh, Naomi wako jilo ndo meza eh, kuibuka mshindi wa kwanza. Mm. We ulikuwepo. Mm -hmm. Ukakuja kumkongratulate. Na atuweza, atujaweza kuona ta wale. Kuna wale wengine pia wana tafuta hicho kiti lakini hawakufika. Sababu gani we ulikuja ku, ku, kumpa eh, congratulations? kuna jo watu wanafuata taling mm -hmm. while uko na taling ya Moyale, Marsabit, Saku, Northor mm -hmm. pia mm -hmm. candidate akona taling yake mm -hmm. so by the time ilikuwa inatangazwa mimi najua kuna wamama tulikuwa tunashindana walikuwa washaenda Nairobi walikuwa mm -hmm. washarudi because mm -hmm. from their taling wameona ah hakuna kitu hapa mm -hmm. so by the time nyinyi mnajua ama aro anatangaza mm -hmm. sisi candidate tushajua mm -hmm. ndio unapata most of the time wenye wanakuja kwa hiyo hall ni wenye watakuja kupewa certificate mm -hmm. au wengine wote wajakuja mm -hmm. so from mali nilikuwa na tali nilikuwa najua sasa ni kazi imeisha mm -hmm. this is the end of it mm -hmm. um nikajiambia my agenda hata wenzangu walikuwa na nembe usiende sasa wale watu watasema mko mnashindana leo na muhag hiyo ni picha gani i was mm -hmm. like sasa i have to be different mm -hmm. Most nilikuwa na jembe, agenda yangu number one ilikuwa peace, 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 peace. Nikianza kusema na umi alishinda, mm, sasa umu amando wameshinda nini, nini, nitakuwa na wafanya nini, 29,000 people. 29,000 people wataona, nimesikia vibaya, pia wawa watasikia vibaya, na wanajua supporters ya madam na umi, na wanaeza kwa sana, zaidi. So agenda yangu ya peace, sita kwa nimeachieve, ata kidogo. But nikienda ni wambie, vile nilienda, na najua ni live kwa radio zote sa hizo. Wana kisema na madam gedea pia amekuja kukongratulate madam Naomi, hii ni picha mzuri. Wale wale ni pigia kura mali wako, nisema saka ma madam gedea mwenye wame kubali, mm. basi yo matekue ni ukweli, mm. sasa tu relax. Ivo, I mean, hata nasikia nilikuwa nambia watu, musharekea tu kwa kiasi watu wa madam Naomi, musisharekea kuumiza wafuasi wangu, roho. So that, kuna, after that nilipigio simu nikambea, 
kuna watu walikuwa wamejiwekea mbuzi ya kuchinja mm -hmm. na wajachinja kwa sababu walisema madam Gedea alisema tusiumizane roho mm -hmm. and that person akisema wacha umesave hata life ya mbuzi mm -hmm. so i think actions zetu ni what you are saying during your campaign na sasa hizi leo umeshindwa imaanishi sasa ni tulienda war tukauana tukaoa wengine tukarudi home ku celebrate nika game tulienda kwa kiwanja tukashindana na kiti ni moja na tulikuwa mama wa saba tulikuwa tunajua tu lazima ni moja tu and from the start nilijiambia nitaji prepare for win and for lose for loss so ulifeel aje wakati ulipata kwamba wewe hauko mshindi mhm mm nikipata hii nikipata 2027 nitawaambia ukweli <laughs> <laughs> but like i was saying mm -hmm. tukimaliza la sami sub county tunajoa kwa namba ngapi mm -hmm. sauko ikisha unajoa kwa namba ngapi so mm -hmm. iyo kushinda ama kushindwa si kitu inakuja mara moja boom umea imekuangukia okay. unaona tu eh hapa unapitwa umepita mm -hmm. umepita huyu umepita all along nilikuwa najoa either anashinda ama anakuwa namba 2 mm -hmm. same to madam naomi so alikuwa najoa na nilikuwa ready for both mm -hmm. as a candidate haikuanguki tu mm -hmm. unless kama wewe ni ulipigiwa kura ukaenda ukalala Otherwise, uko na taling yako. Haiku ni mimi haiku ni pata za shock. Niko najua candidates wote wanapata nini from wapi throughout. Mm -hmm. Na labda uh, tukimalizia ni nini ambacho mwanasiasa anahitaji akiingia ama akiingia kufanya campaign ama kutafuta kura, ni nini ambacho unahitaji wewe kama mwanasiasa? Unahitaji roho. Mm -hmm. Roho. Mm -hmm. Eh, hey, una hey. <laughs> Mbona umeanza na roho hivyo? <laughs> Wacha mna sema tuna Nairobi wanasema character development. Eh hey, siasa inaweza kukupinga character development kabisa. So <laughs> lazima ukoe na roho because utapata utatukanwa. Utapata propaganda. Mm, so first of all ukoe na hiyo roho na hiyo akili that unataka kufanya hiyo na roho na mind yako umeji accept. Whatever the outcome nikirushiwa matusi ama nisifiwe in equal measures I am ready ya kwanza. Mm -hmm. pili I think unahitaji familia yako. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mtu amesimama alafu nasikia nilikuwa nasikia sema huyu anasimama na hata familia yake yuko na ye. Mm -hmm. so unahitaji familia yako amekubali hiyo mm -hmm. um, plan yako okay. and then going wider your community. Mm -hmm. Kuna ile endorsement by community. Yeah. Ukifeel like mali nimezaliwa ma mali nimolewa kwa na mimi mm -hmm. unapata courage zaidi. Mm -hmm. So yeah, ni hizo and then uh, of course above all that ni Mungu. Mm -hmm. you, usijisahau kuomba akukumbuka kuongea na Mungu as you campaign yeah so support system mm -hmm. okay kwa hivyo mheshimiwa wakati ambapo uh, kiongozi ama mwanasiasa anapata kura ama akikosa kura anawasahau tu hawa wa ambao wameweza kumpigia kura anawaacha tu hivyo unaona tena anarejea baada ya miaka mitano ndio akuje kuuliza labda kura we hii miaka mitano plan yako ni gani aswa aha Already nimeongea kwa radio kadhaa mm -hmm. nimejaribu kubaki nikizungumza na wale walenipigia kura na pia watu wa marsabit kwa jumla mm -hmm. tayari nimeongea kuambia kuna mwaka zingine mm -hmm. na governor wetu alisema mwaka tano ni siku tano tu mm -hmm. so tafika tu saa hii rudi msinisahau ile tu kwa pe moyo mm -hmm. that uh, wasipate stress because tumeshindwa ni mchezo mm -hmm. na mimi nimekubali pia wao wakubali kama mimi mm -hmm. but then uh, niki campaign pia siko anasema nitakuwa na pesa mingi ya kujenga barabara mashule ma, maji kwa tu nasema watasikika mashida zao zitasikika kwa serikali shida ya wamama youth na uh, wale ambao kwa na uh, ulemavu na hiyo ni kitu naweza fanya without kukua kwa parliament so nitasukuma wale ambao kwa kwa, kwa, kwa ofisi saa hii na kwa katika nafasi ya pili kwanza inanipatia moral kabisa sasa wila alishinda unaona anafanya hivi munge ni pe ile siku ingekuwa hivi na hivi so bado ni kwa na voice bado nitaongea na hiyo ingine ni kusukuma governor vitu za barabara za shule za i mean uh, sponsorship ya shule maji afya yote ni katika ofisi ya governor sio hata ya woman rep so kama mama na msichana wa Marsabit county saa hii nikiongea hata governor Shiro nikisema watu wa fulani fulani wanahitaji chakula kwa sababu saa hii kuna kiangazi na umenyamaza huko Nairobi na watu wanakufa marsabit 
ataamuka because anajua eh huyu si Gedia tu anaongea huyu ni akona 29678 voters so akiongea anaongea akona hiyo sauti yote so atachukulia manani unlike mtu yote mwingine akiongea saa hii chuyo ni nani msena mdogo tu but saa hii si Gedia tu sasa ni Gedia na watu 30000 behind her so in that sense to say maybe it was 2020 2017 ka tulikuwa tuna vita kuana county ilikufa then ningekuwa nimeongea nimesumbua tumesumbua hadi uhuru sema watu wetu wanakufa na ufanye kitu siasa politics na pia utawala wanaangalia numbers uko na watu wangapi nyuma yako ukiangalia record sema huyu kumbe anaongea kwa sababu ya hii so sitanyamaza wal natafuta kazi lazima utumie pesa fedha kidogo uende upatie wa mama at least hata usaidie tu katika hospitali wakijifungua unaweza wapelekea mungu za watoto wadogo unaweza wasaidia na bill hizo ni bill si mingi sana i mean uh, unaweza tena water tanks si lazima ukwe kwa ofisi mbaye wanaletewa maji na watu na kuseme na county lakini wanaweka wapi pengine wana plastic tanks vitu kama hizo nikishapata kazi pia mimi ni kitu naweza simama na wa watu wangu watu wa marsabit so mimi si wile wa kupotea hata sasa hii nimeongea nimeongea msingi wanasema hivi si ameshindwa wa nyamaze tu itafika hiyo mali but sasa nyamaza kwa sababu ya ile service nataka wapate service na sana sana governor ni yule yule county ni ile ile na mwaka tano wa kufanya kitu hii mwaka kama yeye atabaki hivyo then kuna gedia ambaye hakukua last time so hata i expect itakuwa na audit audit ya raya then the other thing before five years ish eh, ningetaka kwenda round kusema asante kwa wale walinipigia kura na vile nilienda round time ya campaign and then na uh, pia kuwafunza umuhimu wa kupiga kura because watu wetu ni kama awaoni 2013 tulipiga kura watu wengi 2027 2017 tulipungua 2022 tulipungua kabisa 2027 sioni kama tutapiga kura na tusipowafunza and then uh, kama kuna kura 1100 wa Marsabit County utapata mtu ameshinda na 1500 na ndio governor. Sasa mtu alipigiwa na watu 1500 na anasimamia county ambayo iko na 700,000 people. Hata hawatapata services. So umuhimu wa kupiga kura and then pia kazi za hizi ofisi. Watu wetu niliona wajui kazi ya ofisi ya governor kazi ya usenator na kazi ya women rep. Sometimes naenda mali naambia ukipata tujenge tu hii barabara. Hakuna mali katika sheria women rep anaweza kutengenezea barabara. Anaweza shikana na MP, anaweza shikana na governor lakini kivi yake si kitu wa kikampeni anasema nikipata nitatengeneza barabara. So kuwafunza hizi ofisi unao kitambo serikali kuu ilikuwa inafanya kila kitu but county vile ilikuja wale walielewa walielewa wale wasomi wameelewa lakini wale wako mashinani kabisa hawajui nikiomba kura ya mama kwa sasa mimi hata kuna haja tunapiga ni nini hata because atu atu elimu so one of the thing nataka kufanya ni civic education okay sawa sawa na sasa labda uh, kwa wale ambao ama uh, kwa pande ambao wameweza kukupigia kura ulipata wapi kura zaidi na kura ndogo utueleze hiyo place mbili hata kura nyingi na kura ndogo zaidi acha ni nikujibu pa sub county okay. tuko na sub counties ine sub county mbili nilipata kura almost the same sub counties ile mbili pia the same so like some sub county na north or sub county nilipata 12000 okay. nyingi zaidi hizo ni mbili ni nyingi zaidi mm-hmm. and then na uh, moyale na marsaku nilipata 1300 na 1300 na tunatoshana so kidogo ya laisami sub county ilikuwa imeshinda ya northor mm-hmm. kidogo sana na kura chache sana mm-hmm. ile 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 nilikuwa na expect hata 5000 dini ya moyale mm-hmm. mali nimezaliwa mm-hmm. mimi ni msichana wa moyale mm-hmm. then uh, kuna interview nyingine nilisema watu wa moyale walipiga kura kwa ukabila mm-hmm. najua marsabit kuna ukabila lakini ile sub county ilituonyesha mm-hmm. kabisa ukiangalia hii kura vile ilipigwa mm-hmm. naweza siangali ile ya ugavana na hivyo mm-hmm. naangalia tu kiti ya wamama mm-hmm. wa una, unapata kwa gari walipigia wa mama wa gari wasakuye ni kama walinipigia wote hata hukupewa wengine mm-hmm. um, waborana walipigia wasiana waborana tu mm-hmm. so mar, 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 moyale, I mean, moyale 
jamii nimezaliwa iko Moyale ndio na ni jamii ndogo but nilipata ya jamii yangu na nikaongezewa na ya wa Gabra but hao wengine except friends wale tu marafiki wale wenye nilienda nikaomba nena so but but hiyo uh, si ya Moyale peke yake ni kwote but ya Moyale ilionekana zaidi unajua sasa kama Northor wale tupigia according to coalition mm-hmm. ile kuna ule alikuwa ameshikwa mkono na ukur walipata kura kuna ule alikuwa anashikwa mkono na um, kula ule ni mgabra mm-hmm. alipigiwa pia and then kuna mimi nilikuwa kwa coalition ya mheshimiwa chachu tulipigiwa i think hawakuangalia that huyu mwenye chachu alileta ni msafuye mwenye ukur alikuwa na support ni mgari mm-hmm. unapata walitupigia sisi wote mm-hmm. that's why na compare na moyale Moyale haijalishi ulienda na nani kabila 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 so yeah even ndo nilipigiwa kura but then again unapata candidates wengine kuna sub county za wakupata hata kura 300 mm-hmm. maybe na wako na 100 nini inamaanisha mimi kuweza kupata 3000 votes at least 3000 from each sub four sub counties mm-hmm. then inamaanisha candidate yangu ni inakaa kila mtu alikubali Kozmi na zasema wale wa mama hawa nodora kupata kitu na sami sawa kupata anything walipata tu moyo yale kidogo saku kidogo hivyo and vice versa so yeah but mimi na shukuru sana i think uh, my call auto marsa bit wali accept isipokuwa ikifika kwa ballot ni ile ya mtu wangu ni nani kwa kwa hii ballot kama kungekuwa na mtu wangu ni nani maybe sasa ningekuwa hata ningevai governor na nishinde but because of wa mtu wangu mil um tribe yangu then um, inafanya wengine wetu tuweke dreams zetu na tuishi nayo hivyo thank you na labda tukimalizia sasa mm-hmm. tueleze nini ambacho umejifunza katika hii kinyanganyiro ya kutafuta kura kutafuta hicho kiti nini ambacho umejifunza as general kwanza nimejifunza watu wetu wako na shida mm-hmm. sana okay. kuna kam, kuna baraza nilikuwa nafanya nasikia kulia mm-hmm. As simple as watoto tu hawana viatu. Mm-hmm. Mchanga ni moto, mm-hmm. mali zingine ni mawe, mm-hmm. watu wako na shida sana. Um hospitali hakuna madawa, you know maji all over. Watu wetu wako na shida kabisa kabisa. Na mara mingi nilikuwa naambia afadhali sa ile serikali ilikuwa serikali ya Nairobi, hii county haitusaidi. Mm-hmm. Then ndio maana nilikuwa nasema hata kuwafunza kazi ya county mm-hmm. na vile wanaweza itisha serikali kwa hudumia mm-hmm. ni njia moja. Ile nyingine nimejifunza nimejifunza Marsabit kwa na utamaduni mingi. Nikitoka Merile nyimbo ni tofauti, nikifika Turkana land ni tofauti Borana Gabra, yani mila na watu ukifika mali kwa wanaishi wanakuimbia wanakukaribisha na ile nyimbo zao. Nimependa hiyo mila that bado tuko nayo. And then uh, nimejifunza tu pia I mean <laughs> lazima ukue na roho ya <laughs> kusimama siansa hiyo yeah. roho lazima ikue but overall mm-hmm. pia ukisema ukina ukiwa na dream mm-hmm. na ukae nayo mm-hmm. watu hata waijua mm-hmm. na ukisema nikitaka kwa governor leo na sina pesa sina nini sina gari yani mm-hmm. utakufa na hiyo dream so wasema unataka kukua governor na utoke nayo what will happen after that utajua mimi nilisema nataka kukua governor Paul mo six months wazee wakamwa ah hiyo hatuwezi wachana nayo so hapo tuli deal na hiyo nikasimama Umar mm-hmm. Umar rep ni ngumu pesa mingi kaunti nzima mm-hmm. ningefikira hivyo singeenda but because nilitoka nilipata u- msaada kutoka kwa watu wengine Mungu anafungua nje so wewe step on your dream sema unataka kufanya and then let god open the doors thank you asante sana watazamaji popote ambapo mlipo siku ya leo tuko na eh, mara dada ambaye mweza kuwania kiti cha uwakilishi ya wanawake katika kaunti ya Marsabit akaibuka nambari ya pili na ndio tumeweza kupiga story na yeye labda mheshimiwa utapea uh, tu kwa wale ambao labda wamekupigia kura na waja kupigia kura neno moja dakika moja tuweze kumaliza wanipigie kura 2027 <laughs> wakupigie zaidi hao watu wengine pia ongezeke wakupigie hata wanyao wako nipigie lakini um, tupendane tuishi kwa amani cha muhimu sana sana kwa Marsabit county ni amani and then uh, wapiga kura tafadhali julieni candidates wako wanaendelea aje uh-huh. usifikirie tulishindwa sasa tuko sawa tumeendelea na maisha uh-huh. utujulie hali uh-huh. pia unaweza pata candidate wako alienda akaenda kwa depression so tujuliane hali pia candidates wengine pia na waomba warudi kwa raia waseme sikushinda 
next time. I mean, so that hatuna account yenye kila mtu ako na stress. Yeah. Labda kwa wale ambao wanataka kutafuta kuanzia sasa hivi watakupata wapi social media? Facebook get the mamo, Twitter get the marsabit, TikTok get the marsabit. And it is Instagram get the mamo. Okay. Okay, search to get the mamo. Mm. Yeah, so it's all that. Mm. Thank you so much. Asante sana na kuwa uh, hata kama unajua kuna wengine wamekosa kura ukijaribu kuwatafuta ni ngumu sana kuwapata lakini asante sana kwa kuitika wito wetu na kuwa mgeni wangu siku ya leo asante sana okay. kwa hivyo watazamaji popote ambapo mlipo na asema asanteni sana tumeweza kuwa na uh, mheshimiwa Gedi Amamo siku ya leo na tunashukuru kwa wale ambao wanaendelea kutazama video hii na kama ni mara yako ya kwanza na kuomba uweze kusubscribe like share and comment na tutaweza kuzidi kuendelea kukujuza yale ambayo yanafanyika katika kaunti ya Marsabit na nje ya kaunti ya Marsabit. Mimi ni Guyo Jeremy na kutakia wakati mwema.